welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I just wanted to mention that I am going to be giving away a free private reading to anyone who comments on any video between March 1st and tomorrow. And I'll be drawing that name tomorrow night. I have to go back through all the comments and I'm going to write down anybody's name who commented. And if you comment multiple times, every time you commented, your name will be put in. So the more comments you make on videos, the more you'll be entered, okay? And that will be given away tomorrow night, and I'll announce the winners for like two weeks, and if that person doesn't respond within those two weeks, I will draw another winner, okay? Because I um, last time, the person didn't respond, and they sometimes don't. All right, Spirit, can you help me? I felt like it was going to be Sagittarius again from a different aspect, but I don't know. All right, Spirit, what are you trying to say? Yeah, it does look like Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think what we're supposed to do now is look at your situation, or it might be a different situation for a different Sagittarius. I don't know. But for some reason, I felt like there was another message. For I don't know what reason. All right. Holy Spirit, can you lead, guide, and direct me? Can you connect me with whoever this message is for? Give us your insights speak to our minds hearts and souls to show us what we need to know from you to get through this day and I, may i have a prayer please for sagittarius dear god thank you for giving me my family to love and care for help me share with them your spirit's warmth and love as you bless them with grace and peace May we as one family live with you forever in heaven. Amen. So this message sounds like it may be about your family, Sagittarius. Sounds like you're grateful for your family. All right, what message do you have for Sagittarius out of the Oracle Book, Spirit? Close your eyes and see the 18-year-old version of yourself sitting in front of you. Tell them what they need to know. Okay. So, this is about you and the 18-year-old version of yourself. So, it's, it has this sense of maybe you've made some mistakes in the past. And you've had an opportunity to grow and mature since you've made those mistakes. And we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. <laughs> You may actually have an 18-year-old version of yourself sitting in front of you also, Sagittarius. And Spirit is saying, tell them what they need to know. All right? What virtues are you working on with this Sagittarius? Oh, that came out so fast. Wow. Patience. Waiting with a happy heart. And this is you, Sagittarius. Courage. That's the Leo vibe. Courage. And humility. Patience, courage, and humility. Wow, what a powerful combination of virtues that are happening in your life, Sagittarius. You, you, I have this feeling that you've had to wait a long time. And you have had to be brave and strong. Even when you've been scared. The name Joshua is here. And then we have humility overall. So you have, this has been a very humbling experience for you. You've learned some, some you've matured. And what would you say to the 18? Like, after we live a while and we get to a certain age, it's like, man, if I could just go back and change things and do them all over again, I would do them so much different. Or would you? Would you do them exactly the same? Like, how? Have you ever thought about that? Maybe that's what you're thinking about right now. But you are, Spirit's helping you with your patience to be courageous and to have humility. Whatever you've been through has been very humbling. All right. I'm here to use the black deck. All right. 
Okay, how are you working in Sagittarius' this situation, Spirit? Whoa. How are you working? Nope, nope, nope. Good strong energy, please, for Sagittarius. There we go. Sagittarius. The Empress is here. Upright, beautiful energy. This is a nurturing, mothering, creative. Um, this, this is a very beautiful, powerful, feminine side of somebody. Or it could be a mother, a grandmother. It could be you. This is an earth energy. This is that Proverbs 31. We've talked about Proverbs 31 before. Um, this, is, this is a very beautiful energy. This is what's working, is this Empress energy, okay? What's not working? And that's what happens when you have to be patient and courageous. Holy cow, Sagittarius. You're not going to believe what just came out as not working. The Emperor. The Emperor. Upright. That's what you're waiting for and you're having to be patient about and you're having to have you're having to be strong and courageous. You've learned some lessons from this relationship. This could be a husband and wife. It could be, a, it's got a very strong soulmate vibe or, twin, you know, like a twin flame vibe. What's going to pull this together, spirit? Oh, my goodness. The tower and the moon. The tower and the moon. When you have a tower with the moon that is an explosion of emotion like wow and it can also be like a secret that comes out i don't know what to say sagittarius but everything's coming out upright <clears throat> so what we have so far is the capricorn we have a virgo we have a taurus we have an aries we have you um leo and we have cancer so far showing up you may be dealing with those or have, oh, but the sun is in reverse on the bottom of the deck. So for some reason, you're, what you don't see coming is some unhappiness. That's not good, Sagittarius. Unless it's not you that's not happy. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right, let's pull this deck here out and see what's going on here. This is definitely... This could be just you. This could be two sides of yourself. Like your feminine side is working, but your masculine side is not. And if you, you know, when they show up together like that, they deserve a medal for putting up with your ass and get all in or get the fuck out. <clears throat> Say that shit again louder or get the fuck out. You're not being heard. Say it louder. Get all in and get the fuck out. Now, it's like you're, like, somebody's doing that in and out stuff to you. Your person is lucky to remind them. You're hot. You're hot. You're hot. Um, you're hot, smart, and have great eyes. <laughs> Your person is lucky to remind them. Get all in or get the fuck out. So, somebody's not all in here. The emperor here is not working. So, there's a master in here that's not going all in for some reason. All right, how did this happen to Sagittarius? Go on a real fucking date. <laughs> so, you went on a real fucking date or you want to. Maybe you're waiting to go on a real fucking date. That could be the, the case for sure here. And with this tower and the moon, I think that you're fixing to find out something profound. Profound. <laughs> All right, what's being hidden? Keep that shit to yourself. I love being criticized, says no one ever. So, what's being hidden is you're keeping some shit to yourself. So, something is definitely being hidden. I don't know. We'll, we'll pull a card on that. You need them and they need you. Your friends miss your face. All right, what's being shown? You're keeping something to yourself. I think you're feeling. You're not, you're not expressing your feelings or something. Okay. You think you have them all figured out. <laughs> Do the damn dishes and love the one you're with. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. So, maybe somebody's been critical or had some, somebody may have criticized you. <laughs> 
And what's being hidden is that somebody's keeping some shit to themselves. Somebody th thinks they have them all figured out, but you don't. Do the damn dishes, soaking is not fucking washing, and love the one you're with. This includes you. So what you're doing is you're hiding, or it may be somebody else that's hiding something. Like, I think it's their feelings. But what's being shown is that you think you have them all figured out. You're just doing your, you're just doing your, whatever you do. Somebody does dishes or you, we all do dishes and you're loving yourself. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure how to take that quite yet. We'll have to pull some more cards on it. But it's like, I know what's going on here. <laughs> you might be thinking while you're doing dishes, like, I know what's going on here. I just need to be by myself. <laughs> all right. So. But you're keeping something to yourself. And it might be the fact that you had a date. Alright. What's 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 going to happen next here? Wow, that came out with force. Somebody's going to send a picture. Oh, wow. You have trash boundaries. Your boundaries are trash. Send a picture. Your boundaries are trash. Hmm. Huh. This is about sexting, making somebody's day, like sending a nude picture. Your boundaries are trash. All right. There could be two separate things entirely. Like somebody could be, uh, somebody could have sent you a picture recently or is going to send you one. And you might have some boundary issues. It just could be separate. And then it says you're on the same team. Play like it. Hmm. Interesting, Sagittarius. Interesting. All right, I'm going to leave it there. But I do want to see. All right. I don't know if I'm going to use those yet. I'm going to pull some tarot on this. All right, Spirit. I would love it if you would show me why the Empress is here. The Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. <clears throat> you might have had a painful ending with an air coming. There's a karmic partner that's ending. This is indicating the end of a karmic partner. And a two of cups. Something's ending and something new is beginning. It looks like, it looks like a karmic partner is ending so something new can be satisfied. Why is the Empress here? Spirit said, do not take those. All right, why is the interest here? Spirit, can you please help me to get a message? Thank you. Because this person was left out in the cold. They feel lonely and rejected. That is what is working. This interest was left out in the cold. They feel rejected and lonely. Or did at some time in the past. Remember I said... Um, You've been patient, and you've had to be brave, and you have maybe thinking about something that happened, you know, a long time ago. You may have some regrets. Somebody left this person out. This person was at some point left out. What were they left out of, Spirit? Oh, come on. Can I have, can I get Sagittarius' and Spirit guides and the angels? Archangel Michael, I'm asking you to help me with this reading, please. Why was Sagittarius left out in the cold in the past? Good, strong answers, please. I'm not taking this floppy energy. I would love it, please, Spirit, if you help me. All right, there was a will. Fate, destiny, and a change in your love life. So there was some, it was meant for this to happen. Why ever it happened, it was meant to happen. It was destiny. All right. How is that what's working? Oh, beautiful. Because you learn how to love yourself and to heal. That's how. Alright. Why is the emperor here as what's not working? Because of the devil and the knight of wands. <laughs> you can't get any more. 
When you have the, the Knight of Wands, you have a player. Okay, somebody that's impulsive, lustful, a risk taker. Somebody who comes in real suddenly, they wave their wand at you, and they leave. They leave you out in the cold. Because they, they, just, they were just causing destruction. They wanted to just, it looks like to me they came in and they hit it and they left. Looks like to me they used you. Alright, Sagittarius. Somebody had, may have had an addiction or some sort of obsession. You both could have at this point when this happened. But you have done some healing from this. You have healed. You are healing. You're accepting it. You're growing. You're taking care of yourself. You're making healthy choices. The Knight of Cups came out as... I think you finally decided it was time to love yourself. That's just what I see here. And what's not working is this emperor. <laughs> this has the sense of something that happened in the past, though. Show me how this empress feels now about this emperor. Wow. So, it's been a long wait. <laughs> You've been waiting patiently. And there's something, you're like, there's this frozen, hard to let go, resisting change. That's how you feel about this emperor. What did I say? I can't even remember. I think that's how you feel about the emperor. Like, this person is, you've waited a long time. And been very patient, I think, with this person. That's what I see. They might be very cold to you also. Or they have been when they left you out. This You went through something, Sagittarius. Like, oh, wow. Okay. How does this emperor feel about this empress now? Wow. Alright. Right now, um, it's hard to say. The Hierophant's here with the Ace of Wands and they're sideways. This can be like wanting to have this commitment and wanting this maybe sex life that comes with it. But when it comes to their love, they're confused. They don't know what to feel about their love yet. <laughs> and you feel like you've waited so long for this. Clarify the Ace of Wands, please. Manifesting you. They want you back. Yeah, they want you back bad. Yeah, they want this renewal. They want... They want they realize they hurt you and they've learned some lessons about hurting you. This person has learned the lesson about hurting you, is what this is saying. They learned some real powerful lessons, and I think that's what this is. Let's see. I want to see why they're confused. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Because of the Five of Wands, bickering and fighting, not wanting to fight. Not wanting to have conflict. Clarify that because I don't know if that's about you or them. That's that, um, that in and out giving mixed signals. Yeah. This person has been giving you mixed signals and been in and out with you because they are, I think, fighting their feelings. Like one minute they really want this and the next minute they pull back. They're magnetized. Like they ha they can't. Well, they can't stop coming after you, but they don't want to go all in. You remember I kept saying, go all in or get the fuck out? <sighs> you think you have them all figured out. Because right now, you're like, I'm just going to do me. I'm going to love me. I'm going to get my healing on. This, this person hurts you. But I think you've forgiven them and you've healed. And I don't think you really think about it or talk about it. You keep it to yourself. All right, why is the tower here? 
So there was the grief and a breakup, loss, regret, sadness. What what's pulling this together was a breakup. There was a breakup here. There was a lot of loss and a lot of sadness. I think it was this. I think it was this, and it could have been something else that happened more recently than this. If this is recent, then it's recent, but it feels past to me. All right, why is the moon here? Oh, spirit. <laughs> All right, so let me say we have the fixed signs here. Taurus, Leo, um, Aquarius. I can never remember my own cancer. And then we have Aries. We have all the fire signs. We have cancer again. You're definitely dealing with somebody with the cancer placement somewhere. It could be their ascending sign. And then we have, the moon is about somebody waiting, feeling needy and hopeful that they'll return. Like you've given up that they're coming back. But there's some tea, gossip, asking about you. And the star, Aquarius, is here again. So it's like, Sagittarius, you're down here. You showed up. Capricorn's here. There you are again. This is you, Sagittarius, this Knight of Wands. But that's not your energy. That's somebody else. And then we have the Hierophant here, which is the Earth. But this is like, somebody is... These cards are separate, too, by the way. Somebody has had a realization about a loss, a breakup, and how much they have lost. There's been a lot of loss here. And what the moon is, is I think that secretly, <laughs> you're, you're acting like you have them all figured out and that you just want to be by yourself. But there's some tea here and some hope. Ask, somebody's been asking about you and maybe talking about you. And that's why it's being hidden. Keep that shit to yourself. Like maybe you don't know this. I'm not sure. Alright, why is the, um, I want to pull some tea in just a minute. What is the hope about? What is this hope about? Whoa. Can you clarify the star? Come on, Spirit, help me. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Oh my God. There's a three of cups here. And then there's two people. There's a king of swords. This king of swords, <laughs> I think in the past they were bad news. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. But I think that it's time for this person to be loyal and to start taking love serious. I think that's what you're hopeful about, is that they will stop coming in and out of your life and causing all this loss and hurt and be loyal. And it looks like, in fact, what what's not working is, you know, that they hurt you so badly. They might still come in and out of your life just for the sex. But here it's showing me that they are learning lessons. And that they don't want to continue to hurt you. And the tower is that they have hurt you. I think this person is finally realizing how badly they hurt you. And then we have this nine of swords, sorrow, regret, remorse. And maybe that's what the sun in reverse is about. Is that this person regrets. Like they're, they're so unhappy about this. Alright. Show me this person's feelings for Sagittarius right now. That was such floppy energy. Oh, I did not see that coming. <laughs> mm. 
It says to you that their feelings are that there's a current partner. A queen of pentacles. That's coming to an end. They're, they're going to end this so they can complete this. They're, they're trying to, to end this um, current partner. So that, that it has something to do with moving. They can't move. It's a current partner and something's ending and they can't move forward. They just, and it may be physically move forward. I'm not sure. Clarify the chariot. You may be this queen of pentacles. The chariot is clarified by, oh, wow. If they move this, if they go in this, if they overcome this, there's a sexual encounter here. The chariot is clarified by a sexual encounter. All right. So if they don't move forward, they... And then there's money focus on the bottom of the deck. All right, let me get the tea out, because there's some tea here. And I don't think you even know about it. I think it's being hidden from you, because it says what's being hidden is that somebody's keeping some shit to themselves. And that's why the tea card's here, I think. All right, Spirit, clarify what the tea card is for Sagittarius. It says here that somebody's detached, disengaged. They're a cheater and they're materialistic. That's the T. That's what you're hoping. I think that you're hoping. That this partner will detach because they're a cheater and they're materialistic. That's what it looks like, but take it however it fits your situation. There's definitely three people here. There's two masculines and a feminine, but reverse the roles if you need to. Is there any more tea here, spirit? Oh, seriously. The answer is yes. To unconditional love and then we have the answer is no <laughs> so yes to unconditional unwavering love but no to being stuck clarify no oh oh my god I did not see that coming it's no to a date night with a psycho remember going a real fuck how this happened was going on a date with a psycho. <laughs> you didn't want to go on a date with a psycho, so you said no, but said yes to unconditional love. Somebody who's also a workaholic. Clarify the psycho. That said they have a hidden agenda. Clarify the psycho, please. Clarify the psycho. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. So it says that you separated from them because they lied to you in the spring. There was a psycho. And you, you said no. You may have gone on a date with this person and found out they were a psycho. And separated from them. You might be separating from them now. That's that would be now, or unless it was last spring. And it might be this person right here that's detached. They're a cheater. They had an affair, and they're materialistic. Anything else Sagittarius needs to know? In the winter. Which could be now we're moving into the, it was recently. Recently, somebody made a promise. Okay, there was a promise made recently. While somebody was locked down, closed off. Locked down, all right. Clarify the promise, Spirit. 
about it's about thinking it has to do with thinking they promised they would think about what about a hidden agenda you made a promise this winter that you would think about a hidden agenda and there's a secret admirer clarify the hidden agenda it's an offer somebody's thinking about making an offer and I think they promised you one they promised you they would think about this or they promised themselves. And then we have a romantic gesture. Clarify the offer. Oh, it's about being locked down, closed off, and unallowed to have three or more third parties or others. They may have promised you they would stop seeing this other person. And then we have fake, pretending, and unreal. All right, let's look at this another way. All right, Sarah, show me, um, first of all, let's look at this again. Why is the Empress here? Because of the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, now we're seeing a different side of this. You were left out, but now you want it all, <laughs> okay? Why is the Emperor here? Wow, because of the truth. There's the truth that what there. I think that it could have been a lie about being like being fair to you when it comes to money. Why is the tower here? There's the tower clarified by the tower and your wish fulfillment, and also oh, the Ace of Wands and the Hierophant. So this is about you having the realization that your dreams can come true when it comes to this relationship. But it's not you. I don't think it's this person. I think they are realizing it, Sagittarius, because this is the Ace of Wands and the Hierophant again. It's like this person wants to have a relationship with you bad. <laughs> All right, why is the moon here? Like the tower clarified the tower. We already saw what that was about. The moon is here because of some heavy shit and some nightmares that need to end. And somebody's been in denial. They have, they're not able to make a decision. Why are they making a decision, Spirit? Oh, because of the Two of Cups. Hmm. Clarify the Two of Cups. Wow. Alright, we have the Eight of Cups. Oh, here's another card. We have the King of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Empress in Reverse. So this person, I think their their feelings are evolving. Like they have this they know there's a lot of love here. Like this man is in love. He's he's mastered his emotions for you, I think. Finally, and he's not in and out all the time. And there's a lot of contentment here. And there's been a lot of healing when it comes to this empress that got hurt. There's been healing in that. Those old wounds are healed, I think, now. All right. Why is the sun in reverse? There you are. <laughs> because of this. No, I don't know if that's you or not. There's, a, there's another person here now. You, you showed up as a queen of pentacles. Somebody's been fighting. The unhappiness is about fighting with this Queen of Wands, whoever that is. Why are they fighting, Spirit? Because of somebody else. It has to do with the Queen of Swords. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. <laughs> That's been... They're fighting about manipulation. One of them was manipulating. One of them was being very manipulative. I don't think this is you. I think this is whoever you're dealing with. I think this is somebody else, that current partner and somebody else. 
So take it however you're, you know, it fits your situation. All right. Now, now, let's see what we can find out. And then I have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, but it's in reverse. Okay. Let's see. This Empress. Show me what's going on with this Empress Spirit right now. Twin Flame came out. All right, that's kind of what I thought. <clears throat> How does this Twin Flame feel, this Empress feel? They have a lot of regrets. They want somebody to return, it looks like. There's a lot of regret, and they want somebody to return. All right, why is the emperor here? Because of them remembering how much they hurt you in the past and wanting to make that right. Justice. And that's what I see here like three times. And it looks like there's a third party ending, and I, it could be you, or it could be them, um, somebody they're dealing with fighting with somebody they love. That's not you, like a family member. All right, the answer was no, right here. The answer is no. <laughs> All right, show me how. What's going to happen next with this Empress? They're going to be by themselves and take action. All right, what's going to happen next with this Emperor? Oh my God, Emperor, look at you. The answer is yes and the answer is no. You're confused, baby. Hmm. How is this Empress going to take action? Or how should they take action? Free will came out. You're going to do whatever the hell you want. That's how. You're going to do whatever the hell you want. What is this person leaning toward? I'm going to put both of these cards back in in different places. <laughs> I want to see what they're most leaning toward right now when it comes to uh, saying yes and saying no. What are they most leaning toward? Inner child came out. For some reason, inner child came out for what they're most leaning toward. So maybe one of you is pregnant? Okay, so the inner child, that's what they're leaning towards. And I don't know what that means without... Um, clarifying it. Let's see what it means. Why is in a child here? They could have childhood wounding. They're afraid, yeah. There's something like if if somebody loses their parents and then or anything, it could have had like a bad rough upcoming upbringing. They're afraid to go in a new direction. So they've been wearing a mask. They have a fear of going somewhere new, but because of a mask. It might not be them wearing it, it could be somebody else. Clarify this mask. Where is this mask coming from? Oh, wow. They actually have big dreams that they have, and that's what they're having. They're going through a transformation, really. And they're refocusing because they have these big dreams. I think they really do want to go in this new direction, but they're afraid. And it's because of something that happened to them when they were a child. And wherever they're, like, wherever they're leaning toward the, in the other direction might give them a sense of security that's a false sense of security. There's the summer showing up. What might be the outcome here? Oh, wait, look. The answer is yes, came out as the outcome. I'm going to put Twin Flame back. 
clarify the answer is yes. <laughs> Look, somebody's been unawakened, but they're healing, and they've been bound, and then I have twin plane. That's what the answer is yes is. All right, and then I have compromise. So maybe you have to make some kind of compromise for all of this to work out. I don't know. Okay, I think we got that. Now, let's look at this. Any messages out of this deck? That was quick. Somebody is having some vulnerability in their awakening. Like, they might be... Um, This would indicate that you can be completely open with this person and someone is going through this metamorphosis. So it looks like this masculine is awakening and opening up. All right, anything else? Or maybe that's what they need to do. Somebody needs to put away the computer. All right, this connection is protected. So maybe the karmic watches these particular readings. I don't know. Anything else, Spirit? Somebody's regret. Remember the regret. What about the regret? There's going to be a second chance. I can't make this up. There's a marriage, though. Alright, anything else? That could be that it's leading the marriage, too. Anything else? Could be leading to that. It says that you've learned this spiritual lesson. <clears throat> you need to have release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So there's like a sense of letting go of something karmic here. It doesn't have to be another person, but it sure looks like one. And it looks like you have some family issues too with something. Let me pull some money cards for you and see what comes out for your money. Next level and risk. What's going on with this Empress's money spirit? You have the Ten Pentacles, all right? There's something that's unrealistic for you. Let's leave that alone for a minute. What's going on with this Emperor? You might feel like something's unrealistic. You might feel like this relationship right now is unrealistic. This emperor right here is going to be in leadership. Or they are in leadership. They're the head of whatever they do. Like they're, in the, they're the top of whatever they do. But for some reason, this empress has unrealistic. I, maybe you just feel like what's going on here is unrealistic. Clarify unrealistic for the empress, please. animals came out. I don't know why you think animals would be unrealistic. But for some reason you feel like maybe you feel like you can't have an animal right now. That's what's going on with your money. I don't I don't see anything going on with your money yet. But this masculine is in leadership somehow. Any other messages for this Empress spirit? There's been some mistakes. All right. What, what about these? You're being careful. There's been mistakes and you're being careful. You could have had, you could have done something unrealistic. Somehow animals were involved. I know that sounds crazy, but it could make sense to somebody. And it was a mistake. And now you're having to be careful how you spend your money. All right. What about this leadership for this emperor? You're going to work smart so you'll have options. Okay. Embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Anything else that we need to know about the money here, Spirit? The money's a crafter. What about being a crafter? Something's unclear about a promoter. I mean, I was just thinking before I started this, and I was talking to my friend, and I was saying, you know, i got to figure out which video I want to promote, because <laughs> I haven't had any lately that I felt it. Okay, anything else? I don't know what that means to you, but that's what it would mean to me if I watched this. 
Somebody's going to get recognition where there's been loss. Somebody's going to recognize a loss. All right, clarify recognition. Good answers, please, too, for clarifying recognition. This has to do with working and settling. So this looks like to me that you had some kind of destruction in your life, some kind of loss, like a major loss. And you've been working on settling a lawsuit. Outcome, please, of just settling this loss. I don't have any... Uh, you got to be persistent, all right? And if they're persistent, there's going to be setback, and then things are going to get better. They're going to start looking up after these setbacks. All right, outcome when it looks up. Okay. There is something better. You're going to work hard in silence and have a partnership. So Spirit wants to keep it secret because somebody needs to put away the computer, remember? And something here about real estate, comfort, and being by yourself. Being independent. I think that's going to be a wrap, Sagittarius. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Is there any healing that needs to be? Oh, I know what I'm going to pull. Healing, please. Say what you mean. Money needs to speak their mind here. And love themselves with... Love and the whole in your soul. Beautiful. Not, remember courage, discover your life purpose, and unleash your creativity with home under that. So there's there's a home showing up for somebody. All right, or somehow home. All right, what would this emperor secretly say to this emperor spirit? Good strong energy, please, Holy Spirit. I don't know why this happened. All right, what would this emperor say to her? I don't want to let you go. Your intellect arouses me and I daydream about the life of you. Okay? What, what would this person that needs to put away this computer say? I can't do this. What else? I hide my feelings and I find you so attractive. Huh. So this could be this person or this could be you. What else would this empress say besides they don't know why this happened? I know you don't feel the same, but I don't want to let it go. So this person here, this empress doesn't feel like you feel the same. But over here, you're saying that you daydream about a life with them. I think you were the one that said, I don't want to let you go. Huh. I think that was your card. I don't know. Somebody will know, though. You don't feel like they feel the same. But over here, it looks like they daydream about it. But there's somebody over here that can't do it, and they're hiding their feelings, and they find you attractive. Anything else this empress would say secretly? That's too many. I'm not going to take those. I will take this one. I see life differently now. I think that you have learned a lot. You've been hurt a lot here. All right, I'm going to go one more time for you, okay? One more time for the Empress. What else would they say? Oh, come on, Spirit. Give me some answers here. No bullshit energy, please. There we go. You're not financially stable either. But you miss seeing them. You compare, they compare, I compare others to you. I miss seeing you and you didn't see my tears. You broke my heart. Yeah, you got hurt. You got hurt here. But I think you're healing and you're forgiving. And it looks like this relationship is honestly coming together. But it's not quite there yet. Okay. All right, Spirit. How are the angels helping this empress? Gratitude and power. All right, how are they helping this emperor? Oh, wow. They're putting things right where you need them to be strategically. And they're, ha they're giving you wisdom. You've learned a lesson here. All right. And this relationship together, how are they helping? Relationship, hope, 
partnership and guardian angel. Remember partnership? War hard and silence. And then creative power also. Alright, I want to see what this Empress would say out of here. What would the Empress say out of here, Holy Spirit? I'm staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. And I know I've acted childishly. I don't know how to approach you. So you feel a little embarrassed. What would this emperor say? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Honestly, I pretend to be someone I'm not because being vulnerable feels uncomfortable. The feelings I have for you overwhelm me, so I'll run away to process them. And my life is falling apart and I'm struggling. So they've had a lot of karma because of the way they treated you, it looks like. Or just in general because of life. What would this person that needs to put away the computer say? I'm distracted right now and feeling trapped pushes me away. Please give me some space. With, I'm not sure if we both feel the same way about each other. I'm not sure who that is. That could be you. That could be this empress watching. Either readings or whatever they're doing. Social media. Alright, can I get messages out of here for the empress please? Blessing empress. Emperor please, Holy Spirit. You're having dreams. Alright, anything else? There's going to be answers. What about answers, Spirit? Somebody's going to get answers and have good luck. When it comes to grieving, having confidence when it comes to home. Okay? Then I have new beginnings, freedom, and compassion with justice on the back. Alright, I'm going to give you one of these and then I'm going to close this message, Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius here. What are the dominant emotions that run my life? And what passion am I ready to pursue? Lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values, and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? So, this is about how do you feel your day? Stress or joy? Trust or anger? Anxiety or peace? We have only today, right now, the journey. No goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But when we begin filling every day with that which we value most, we will attract more of it. This is fulfillment. So lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values, and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? So if you want to feel abundant, if you want to feel blessed, if you want to feel beautiful, if you want to feel thin, if you want to feel successful, adjust your life, your goals, your values, adjust things so that you can begin filling your day with what the things you value the most, okay? If this is the law of attraction, and it's a little deeper, it's like teaching you to feel something real, like you have to feel it real. You have to be able to feel beautiful even when you don't. You understand what I'm saying, Sagittarius? If, if you want to be thin, you have to believe in your mind and realize that you're already that. You're already that. And you're already beautiful. You're already thin. If you focus on constantly your weight and being overweight, you're going to attract more of that. You have to begin to feel it real. And one of the best ways to develop this is by settling 
somewhere, being quiet, meditating, and allowing your thoughts to clear. Getting all those negative thoughts out of your head, slow your thoughts down, and then fill your thoughts with the things that you most want, the things you most desire. Get rid of the things that you don't and stop attracting more of what you don't want, if that makes sense to you. And then Spirit's saying, what passions are you ready to pursue? Your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Today's soul action, write a list of the passions to which you want to give life right now, and then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whisperings and let your passions draw you towards your dream. So for me right now, if I were to give you an example, my passion is that I would like to be able to write something. I don't care what. I want, I've kind of gotten away from writing my poetry, from writing my song lyrics, from journaling, I, you know, and I'm passionate about that. So I need to start incorporating more of that into my life, okay? But think about what you're passionate about. I'm passionate about my YouTube channel and about my readings. And I would like to take it to the next level, honestly. Okay. Anything else you want to say, Spirit, to Sagittarius before I close this message? I feel like I'm missing or forgetting something for some reason. What do you want to say, Spirit? I know you have something else to say. I just do. Let's look at these and see if we can get some guidance here. Empress, please. Guidance for the Empress. <laughs> guidance for the Empress, please. Oh, whoa. Those were determined to come out. Keep a journal. Get some exercise. This journey is not about them. It's about you. Keep your chin up. Focus on you instead of them. Wherever you go, take yourself and make sure you bring your most healed version. Remember, you were healing. And let others meet you at your level. Don't lower your vibration to meet theirs. All right. What about this emperor spirit? Learn to love your reflection. Heal any issues you have with your mother. Remember the child, inner child? Cherish the moments you have with them and don't push for more if they aren't ready. And I do think that it's the feminine here that's not ready. I think this person is still healing. You, Spirit wants you to get creative. Don't let anyone play mind games with you. And the key to your happiness is you. It feels familiar because it is. And stop waiting by the phone for them. A self-empowered person waits for no one. Absolutely true, Sagittarius. Don't wait by the phone. Go ahead and get creative. Okay, so I'll get you some initials. Initials, please, for Sagittarius. N, L, I, P, J, D, D. So we have D, D, N, L, I, P, J. R. D, P, T, D. So I have D, D again with J. T, P, C, I. <laughs> I. S, C, Q, V, S, E, T. T again. P N P. So P P P N L F is in Fre Fred and O is in Oscar. K B A A G D F is in Francis. M F again. B B A A and S is in Sam. <laughs> L, B, D, C, D. We keep getting D, D. L, M, B, D, 
C D M. So M M D D. We <laughs> didn't get any M M D D. I think. R R T Z is in Z or thing. A and the two Z's here and a P. All right, I'm gonna go one more time and I'm gonna pull trinkets. Just a few. All right. R I Q F L Y P. Trinkets, please always fear it from the final side of the pool. I have one that came out in my hand and it says, Friends Forever. So maybe you're friends with this person. Alright, I have three huge pieces of crystal. So if somebody's into crystal, don't forget to recharge them in the full moon. I have an angel. I have Archangel Michael. I have a marble. I have a fox. Somebody's being sneaky. They need to put away the computer. I have, she believed she could, so she did. I have a sunshine. I have a marble. What's for you will not pass you by. An owl. A huge infinity sign that says love. A compass. A pentagram. Jesus or the Mother Mary. I think that was Mary. I have a carrot. You might have a rabbit. A butterfly. A skeleton key. A mermaid. An elephant. A snowflake, no two are alike. A Mustang, a horse, you know a Mustang a horse? You might drive a Mustang, or you may have in the past. I have a music note, an Eiffel Tower, a cross, a star, an elephant, another cross, a cloud, a fancy heart. I have the elephant with the heart on its trunk, a bicycle, made with love, a fancy ball, Look, somebody's kitty cat. <laughs> Two swans connected. An apple for a teacher or temptation. A huge flower and a yin and yang. Okay, trinkets from this bowl for the sign of Sagittarius. Spirit. I didn't get very many that time. I got an angel. I have the two biggest keys in the bowl. I'm going to set them to the side because Spirit told me to get more. I have, a, I have a, um, a light bulb. I have a world, a rocking horse for a baby. That's your arrow, Sagittarius. A piece of black tourmaline. Somebody's into crystals. An Eiffel Tower, a fancy heart, the word wish, an anchor, and a maple leaf. But Spirit told me to mix them up real good and pull them again for some reason. Take it from this bowl. Wow, Spirit, again? All right, y'all, we got the key, okay? <laughs> the key. There, somebody needs a key to something. A piece of turquoise. I have the light bulb again. There's going to be a tower. The love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. An Eiffel Tower. A music note with a skull. I have the military thing. I have a horse. I have that rocking horse again. I have a cross. A skeleton hand. Two infinity signs. I have two more arrows, another rocking horse for a baby, some cherries, an angel wing, a star of David, two feathers, young and strong, a crescent moon with a fairy, live your dream, and a prick or a cactus. Okay, that's your reading, Sagittarius. Don't forget to comment so you can be entered in the drawing and let me know by liking the video if it resonated with you or if you just enjoyed it. And thank you so much for your participation in the contest. I'll be drawing the winners tomorrow night. I love you guys, and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.